and uh, one thing i would like to know from you you that you said that uh, about some you know ancient thing that you are very much uh, uh, close to the you know tradition uh, traditional india so what you have found uh, you know different in the entrepreneurship or anything in the uh, mindset from the traditional to to the uh, you know modern kya ek different up, uh, difference aap dekhte ho see in the modern education system and the way we live today generally focuses only on artha or kama that is how to pursue wealth or how to enjoy life that is pleasure which is kama artha but the traditional is, uh... indian system tells artha is generation of wealth artha is okay, generation, generation of, of wealth. wealth we call it purushartha yeah okay so in india we have four purusharthas not only two these two are for day to day life the first one is dharma and it should end in moksha wherein artha and kama are sandwiched between dharma and moksha this dharma and moksha are not taught in the education system in india or elsewhere in the world because we clearly followed what was there in the pre colonial era we continued as a colony we were only churning out clerks and peons or people who can just crunch numbers mindlessly correct so we need to have a connect with our tradition for example when the yoga school we started in 2011 you, you, there is one plus or minus in india is there is an entrepreneurial mindset once they see a successful model everybody will start that this is one thing with whether they have base how they are going to go ahead in future that is not a thing they just start something so everyone started to have yoga yoga courses happening but still the focus only was on the physical side which is the asana so rarely deeper pranayama techniques were taught for mind management for example uh, it is found even during clinical research that a technique called brahmari which done 6 and 1/2 minutes continuously is having is have uh, is having the ability to quieten the mind um uh, brahmari so our ancients like, uh, were doing for so long yeah, humming bhi technique yeah brahmari is something i have heard this word and it is very famous yeah. in yoga brahmari is something when you yeah. just close your eyes and yes. uh, producing the sound from your uh, internal uh, uh, yes. mouth yeah from your uh, throat and Perfect. you just and focusing on uh, yeah, this side right Uh, right i guess yeah, there are various it. techniques yeah, yeah. this various is techniques. the technique i know jo aap bol rahe ho wo ek technique hai but Achha. it is there are various deeper techniques In but the idea many. is when you uh, when you learn and do it properly in one sitting you do for 6 and 1/2 minutes it is clinically proven to quieten your mind so today research studies are done in every aspect of yoga pranayama and then what we saw is in 2013 we saw there is a huge space people became yoga teachers then they didn't know what to do next because there are hundreds of yoga teachers now so we were the first institute in the world uh, allowed by yoga alliance international to teach yoga nidra systematically as a certificate course earlier if someone needs to learn yoga nidra there was only one batch which bihar school of yoga used to run at rikia peet and one at munger ashram so two batches was taught in the entire year when people do the teacher training there they learned yoga nidra technique very systematically there 